okay, I got the groceries in. It didn't have a shovel. Uh, what else did I show you? Oh, uh, I can show you Stormy Monday, I think. Try. Um, it has that weird augmented chord. So that's a D, G flat, uh, B flat, D. That's how it starts. And then to C. Why are all these in C? Anyway. version of that anyway. Um, what other ones? Uh, well, Dimples is real easy, which is just that little bend. to listen to on uh, YouTube, just dig up and get yourself used to hearing them. Um, a little riff to trouble no more is... So that's not anything tricky. Um, one way out goes... song that I didn't show you that I want to play because it's one of the few ones that I play comfortably, really comfortably. And it's called Don't Go No Further <clears throat> and it's also easy to find on YouTube. Uh, and it's an E and then just says a little stop time so uh, I might kind of talk at the words at part of this. Thank you. 
I showed you that, you remember this one. And I showed you that weirder one that's kind of a pain in the ass. Walk down to the, walk up into the D, D, B7. There's also the one where you play those sixths. Uh, so you, on the G and E string, you go. I think I showed you part of just uh, 40 Days and 40 Nights, which is also a great Muddy Water song. Perhaps the very best. Um, it's Meredith's favorite. <clears throat> Again, I'll play it in A. Um, Side cat, which we've talked about, goes like this. Again, it's uh, you walk down. The thing stays the same, just uh, tracing the chords. So instead of uh, playing a straight D chord or five chord, a lot of times people will play that C seven shape and just because it's a movable shape, C seven here, D seven. That's real comfortable. A lot of people and people will also take that C seven and then you take these two fingers, your ring and pinky, and you move them from the fifth and fourth strings. I'm sorry, fifth and third strings to the third and first strings, and it's still the same chord. Joe has some old, old, old song called Anthony Sandwich based on that little move. It's a real common blues lick. Um, I showed you, started to show you that weird gin house thing that I've been working on. Um, that has some, <clears throat> uh, takes some time just to kind of hear it, to play it right. Um, but it's the bend G to the open E, and we're playing an E, and then that hammer on stuff over there on the thing. Uh, just a moment, please. <laughs> 